Hello everyone, happy Wednesday. I am trying to finish up the shower plumbing. As you know, we had an ice storm here and although I drained everything and opened everything up, we still had a lot of plumbing damage from it. So I am endlessly doing this. So I'm on the replacement of the valve for the shower, which I have access to through the back, through a closet. Um, so this is a drawing I did. This is the where the actual old one was. This is the stringer here. And this here was what I was gonna do. But these are the old pipes here. I'll show you. Hi, Kitty. There's Kitty. Um, this is the old, okay. And what happened was this thing, the, the actual valve was spraying into the closet. This is copper and brass. So this is a two handle system. One does on and off and one does hot and cold. And they don't make them like this anymore. It's not up to code. So I had to switch to a one handle system. Plus this had no markings as to what brand it was or part number or anything. So. I cut the, I cut it all out so I didn't have to work in the closet. So I cut the pipes here and go on up to the shower, took off the handles. And this is what I've come up with so far as a replacement. Okay. This here. And I'm getting there, folks. All right. This is a Delta multi-choice rough-in valve system, okay? We've got copper again. Here is the drawing that's on the paper is from the old one, so I can kind of see where the pipes laid and where it sits on the stringer. So these are the old ones here. So see how wide this is now? When I did the drawing here, there was, it was driving me crazy trying to figure out how do I get those angles to match up with these two old pipes. And then I thought, let me see if they make um, a flexible shark bite that I could just bypass all this junk. Because just so you know, each one of these things is like $9. So I got these two. These were 20 bucks a piece. And I returned these other ones. So, uh -uh, I've got to go one up to the shower. I've got where it sits on the stringer. And I've got these two that now I have to just get in the shower, get in the closet and cut those two pipes to where these can go on. And I actually, um, when I cut those two pipes, I capped them so I could still have, you know, water in the tub. Um, let's see here. Where is it? What I got for the top part here is called a slip end, okay? Because picture, I got one pipe coming down from the shower, the old pipe, and then I've got this new one. So how do you connect those? And if it was, you know, new, I'd be able to just put a coupling and then a coupling or whatever. But because it's already existing, I got what is called a slip end where it goes, you put it on one end and you go up a few inches and then you back it down an inch. Do you see what I mean? You go up and then you go down. It's like parallel parking, up, down. So I got that but I still have to get in the shower and cut that existing pipe shorter. And I gotta make sure I measure it correctly so that I can use that slip end there. 
Uh, what else? Hi, kitty. This is the old stringer here. And you know my house is over 100 years old, so it's real two by fours. Anyway, this is where the old one sat. So I'm going to put this stringer back in between the joists and then see where this hits on here so that I can mount afterwards this onto, you know, this will get mounted. Whoops. This will get mounted to wherever it's going to land on here. Or if it's going to land on this thing here, and I'll flip it around wherever. Mount that sucker with some big long screws so that this handle doesn't move around in the wall. So I'm just going to reutilize this old piece of nasty wood. So I'm glad I bypassed all this because that was a lot of money and I got money back from that. Um, I have been back and forth to the store several times, plus my rib still hurts, okay? So that kind of sucks. There's Kitty. It's a beautiful day here, so I'm going to try to finish this today. Um, let me show you what tools I'm using. Okay. Um, I have a collection of Royobi one uh one plus tools that my son got me a set and then you know i have several others they're lithium battery and they make a tool called a cutoff tool or a cut something tool anyway it's got a thing on there for metal and it comes with for plastic and for wood so this is good because I don't have to hand saw because that's what I was doing initially in the closet was hand sawing that shit. And what a pain in the ass, okay? And plus, with these kind of fittings, you have to have it perfectly even and smooth and deburred and all that. So this was a good buy. And I was able to get that without the battery because I have a lot of batteries. So it was cheaper, so I got that. And then, Instead of having to hand sand the ends. Oh, here's another tool I was using that was stupid. This stupid thing. Dumb. Uh, this thing I got, because I couldn't find mine, this uh, roughs up the ends of the pipes for the shark bites. Um, where the hell? Oh, this I got today this end, the stone, because where this goes in the wall, the hole was very rough cut in the tile. And the original valve stem was smaller, so I had to open up that hole. So I'm like, all right, do what kind of, do I use a something with a blade to cut the tile? Uh, I was using nippers and it was kind of getting yucky. So I found this at a local place that we like to go to. It was a dollar, a grinding stone. So I went right in the hole and just went and got that all cleaned out. And this is good for the ends of the copper too, you know, to get them even. So that's it. And I do like, you know, I like this Makita I got a long time ago. That's another lithium. It's a little heavy, but I use that at work a lot. Um, other than that, I got screws, um, I got silicone, I got everything I need, I think, because this back and forth is driving me nuts. I may have to extend one of these pipes here, because I may be a little short to get this to the hot and cold water. One of these, I think, is a little short. And that's no big deal. These are, these are come off and on. Um, definitely worth it. Because I didn't want to solder in that little tiny closet. I'm, I'm talking like a two-by-two two closet. This here, the bonnet ring. You take this off after I get this put in the wall, in the closet. This is the test plug. You have to test this for leaks first before you put the cartridge in. Okay, so this is all stuff I've never done before, you guys. 
So I'm just reading up on how to do it, and I'm doing it. So if you think you can't do something, I'm proof, okay? And I'm doing it with broken rib. So I got this. This is called a rough-in for a shower. Um, my tub is separate with separate handles, so I didn't get the one that has a fourth thing coming down for the tub. And uh, that's a Delta multi-choice. And then that is just the rough stuff for behind the wall. And then you need to get what's called a trim kit, which is like the handle and the chromey like circle around it. And, and, it, and it also includes, which I, I didn't know until I opened all this crap up, there's a cartridge inside of here in every one of these things. And there are like a million different cartridges. So the cartridge does not come with this, with this rough-in, okay? It, the cartridge comes with your trim kit, which is the handle and the circle pretty thing. So that comes with that. So I got that. Um, the ring on it is a little bigger than what I wanted. The other hole that's in the tile right now, I am was trying to figure out, oh, God, do I have to cut that out and redo tile? Because I do have some of the tile saved. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a wall-mounted soap dish in ceramic or something, and I'm going to cover up that hole over there. So I'm not going to... That's that's a later thing. I'm not worrying about that shit. I'm talking a mile a minute. Um, I'm tired. My kid is home. He's been working all day hauling cedar or uh, wood chips in wheelbarrows for the neighbor across their yard, picking up old ones, 